What's going on YouTube? Welcome to episode 43 of the USS Enterprise D tutorial. I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode. If you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. Can't believe we're already up to episode 43 on this tutorial. Feels like it just got started. We still got a long way to go and we've got a ton of work to do. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I did kind of hint that we were going to be doing this, but I wanted to wait until we got in today's episode just to double check and make sure. So this way, if I was wrong, I didn't have uh, anybody backtrack. So along this second to last row here, basically this uh, gray uh, outline that's going all the way around. That's the last row that we added in yesterday's episode. And what we're going to be doing is on that same level, we're going to be adding layers just like we've done before, going with the cut line, going all the way around. Now, to keep this easy, you don't necessarily have to do this in this area. You're just going to be bringing it right up into the lip where it goes down one row, where we added that inner ring or the inner oval. So you should have something that looks exactly like this. And you don't want to bring it right up to that inner oval. You want to bring it one back so this way there's a lip where you can see on this side perfectly there's a lip. You want to do this going all the way around to fill in this gap that's between this row and this row. You're probably going to have to pause the episode to do this, but I'm going to continue on and we're going to jump right into this. And when you've caught up, feel free to pick up right with me. Now we're going to be getting ready to do some extra um, layering. We're going to get ready to add another oval. Now I'm going one back from the gray, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did that on front and back. Now we're gonna go on the sides, going one back. And take my own advice, one back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So far so good. And we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. We're going one back, and then we're going to delete 10. Now, this blue block that I'm putting down, you don't necessarily need to do this. I'm being kind of extra at this point, but if you really want to, just to keep exactly what I have, feel free to do that. But pretty much what we did um, in yesterday's episode, we're pretty much going to be repeating that same process with the oval. Um, what you could do, in fact, is if you wanted to, instead of doing that blue block, you could just delete the block behind it because that's what we're doing right now. We're just getting rid of the, the access of this gray line on the, the back vertical line and the front vertical and then the two left, uh, the horizontal left and right. At this point, we're not doing anything fancy. We're just getting rid of the old access right up until that blue marker, because we want to make sure we don't delete that. And in just a moment, we're going to be going back to our pixel circle generator. I actually, I had somebody comment asking how I come up with the layering for this. And um, the simplest answer is that I just take my time. This is one of the reasons why I've been working on this ship since February and we're already into August. Now, that's not consistently every single day. Yeah, I've taken breaks here and there. But what I have done is I've taken my time to a point that I can plan things out. And... Planning things out are very important because when you stop to take a breath for a second, 
you can maybe start to think about where you're going to go with it, maybe anticipate mistakes that you're going to make, and maybe how it's going to look. Um, but always take your time with it. At the end of the day, this isn't, it's not a competition. It's not a relay race. Well, I'd say that it's a, it's a marathon, not a relay race. You got to have the endurances to keep going because that's basically where we're at. So anyway, we've got our dimensions for our next inner oval. We've got our width left and right at 131 and our height at 49. And I've implemented it in a way where we have it builds a center. All right. Now we're going to go right back into it. And remember, if you cut your oval into four pieces, just like it looked in that grid, that's what we're going to be building off of. Now we're going to be going two down from our x-axis line. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want there to be a lip. I want this to be built one down from the row that we have on the previous oval that we made. So this way we don't have to backtrack and add another layer. This might look a little bit funky now, but when we fill all this in, it'll it'll all come together, I promise you. And now at this point, we're just going to be building this out based off the template that we generated. And remember, we only need one corner, and we're just going to be repeating that process four times total. was actually on here yesterday playing and I don't know if anybody else has had this happen to them because I'm I build my stuff on the beta version of Minecraft just so I can get all the latest stuff right away um, but uh, I'm wondering if anybody else has had an issue with their rendering uh, because I've actually I play on the Xbox one X and I've always like you can see it right now like I render quite a quite a distance away uh, but it seems like with this last update like where we be at right now you can't even see the Serratos, it's out of render distance. And uh, I've gone into my settings and I've made sure that I've got the maximum render on. And uh, I think that this actually happened a couple of months ago. They put an update out and it completely messed up the rendering. Um, but with that being said, uh, hopefully they'll have something here in the next uh, couple of weeks to fix that. So in the future, it's not going to be immediately, but probably in the next 20 or so episodes, you'll probably notice that when you see when we go outside the ship, it'll probably look a little bit gray um, at a distance from the Enterprise D. And if that happens, that's why it's because some update came out uh, for the beta and it completely uh, messed up the render on my save. But I'm not too worried about it because I literally have a hundred copies of this ship. So if something does happen to that save, I'm not too worried about it because I've got a uh, I've got stuff to fall back on. Which of course that brings me back to one of my rules that if I do, if I have something important I don't want to lose, make multiple saves just to save yourself from not losing it. Because I've learned the hard way in doing that. Um, some of my older builds, like the um, the Millennium Falcon, for example, that is, uh, I've completely, uh, I lost it because this was back before I was making multiple save files. And long story short, um, I think my file got corrupted. Something happened along those lines. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. In fact, the file got corrupted and I didn't make backups of it. So that's just, uh, it's one of those builds that it's, uh, it's just been lost. So it kind of is what it is in that regard, but that's why I always make multiple save files because at this point, I've got about 10 years worth of work on this single save that I really don't want to lose. Um, if I did, I'd probably fall out um, and maybe not play Minecraft for a good <laughs> while being salty until I got over it, but eventually I come back and I get back into it and start building again because I truly enjoy this game so much that I would just uh, maybe try to rebuild everything. It would give me an excuse to do it. Because um, ironically enough, there are uh, ships that I do want to revisit. I have had people ask me for um, 
pictorials for the 2009 Enterprise and the Enterprise A from Star Trek Beyond that I did. That stuff's going to happen. I'm just not quite certain when I'm going to do it um, because I'm trying not to be known for the guy that just does Constitution class ships. Um, even though the Constitution class specifically, um, the original Enterprise A is my favorite ship in Star Trek. Always going to have a close uh, place in my heart. Um, but again, you know, I want to do other things right now, which is why we're branching out. We did the California class with the Cerritos, and now we're doing the Galaxy class with the Enterprise D. And I want to keep that going, but with that being said, um, inevitably I am going to come back and do those ships because um, I want to be a man of my word. I've promised people that I'm going to do them. And not only that, um, not so much with the uh, Enterprise A refit, but specifically with the 2009 Enterprise, I feel like I could do it better now because that was really the first ship that I've done in Minecraft. And I worked on that for a couple of years and, you know, I kind of developed these traits and skills on how to build on here. And um, I really would like to go back to it and revisit it and uh, apply all those uh all the stuff that I've learned over the course of building ships on here for the past 10 years and really apply it to that ship so you can see the difference on when you put all this stuff to good use, what what comes out of it. And I think it would be fun to revisit it too. But that is definitely going to happen. Um, I still, uh, I'm getting people asking here and there, not so much recently, but I've, uh, I've been still, I've been getting people asking what my next build is going to be. And uh, I've had a few people that's uh, still it's looking like Voyager is more than likely going to be the next build that I do next after the uh, Enterprise D, which will be really cool. Um, I want to say uh, Voyager was an Intrepid class, so I mean, it'll be fun to, to build that type of ship. Um, I've never built it before, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. But still, I don't want to commit to it until um, we're done with the, uh, the Enterprise D. And... Uh, I learned my mistake building the Cerritos and the Enterprise D at the same time that uh, I'm not going to be doing that again because I don't want to get ADD and focus on one thing rather than the other one. But I think uh, when I'm done with this ship, you guys will be pretty happy. Those of you that are looking for Voyager, I think you'll probably be pretty happy with what I'm going to do. But with that being said, if there are other builds that you want to see me do, be sure to drop a comment below. Let me know what ships you want to see me make on Minecraft. Even if it's room specifically on the Enterprise D, or maybe it's not even uh, Star Trek related. Maybe it's just anything nerd related in general. Drop a comment below. You never know. I might just do it if I get enough people asking for it. Because um, that's the other thing, too. I try to get the community of builders involved in building things that people want to see. Uh, to try to help me in growing my channel out as much as I can. It's kind of crazy that um, when I started doing uh, these videos consistently on a weekly basis, putting out several videos a week, I had maybe about, I think, just shy of 100 followers. And within just over a year, I've gotten over 500 followers, which is freaking awesome. You know, I, I can't believe how many people I've actually been able to get to follow me on YouTube and um, you all are awesome. Everybody takes the time to watch these videos. I never thought that this would be something that a lot of people would get into. And really, I'm just doing this because I enjoy building. And uh, I set out with a goal just originally with my enterprise. Hey, let's do a tutorial of the enterprise and uh, try to help somebody out. And this what, what what I was looking for 10 years ago when I first started getting into this. Because you just couldn't find that stuff. But it's a pleasant surprise. Anyway. Getting into a little bit what we got going on here. We're almost done with our oval here. And again, uh, we're probably going to be filling in this layer on the sides just like we did before. But we're going to wait to do that until we get in the next episode because we're not going to be doing it today. And I don't want you to skip ahead and make a step unless I'm certain we're going to do it. But... I'm about 90% certain off that last row, we're going to bring that right up to this new inner row right here. Um, but we'll wait to do that. Just so everybody's on the same page. All right, we're looking pretty good. Now we're going to come back with some half slabs here after we 
fill in that gray line with uh, the white concrete. And now going along this lip here, on the outside of the oval that we did yesterday, we're going to do a row of half slabs going all the way around the ship. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to tone down the cut line because it's really um, it has a nice shape to it underneath the Enterprise D, uh, bowing all the way down underneath. So we want to try to replicate that as much as we can. But there was also a reason why we skipped some rows to try to basically stretch out the angle in which it's going to curve inward. That was the whole point of why we did what we did with going in several rows before we added another row going down by one. And it may not seem like it now, but I promise you when we close this in, it's going to look pretty good. It's not going to look perfect because I, and I said this at the beginning of the tutorial that I'm kind of cheating a little bit with some of the rows where we're adding layers. Really what we needed to do was use the pixel circle generator for every single row. But by not doing that and just adding layers off of the original oval, that we're getting some slight distortion here and there. Now that is something that we're going to address and try to fix that. And I'm going to show you what I did to try to fix that. But I mean, it kind of is what it is. If I would have done it that way um, with uh, doing the uh, every single row that we went uh, down or upward, either on the top or bottom of the oval as we added layers, if I would have went back to the pixel circle generator for every row, one, um, <clears throat> that would have gotten a little bit tricky with the math, I think. Um, and two, I just honestly, that would have blown this tutorial up to a level that I honestly just wasn't willing to, to put into it. Because even as it is, I'm not even done building this thing yet. And I've been working on it since February. I've got a ton of work to do still on the interior. Um, both on the saucer section and the lower hull. And I'm not even done with the detailing yet. So, I mean, it kind of is what it is at that, at that point. I think there's going to be inevitably somebody out there that's going to have maybe a better Enterprise D than me. But I will say that this is going to be one of the ships that um, has a ton of detail in it. And it's going to have, uh, as much as I can make it, one of the most fleshed out versions of the Enterprise D that you're going to find on Minecraft. Because that's one of the challenges that I'm having right now is instead of adding random rooms, um, I'm really trying to keep it as close as I can to the Enterprise D. Um, but like right now, one of the problems I'm having with the lower hull, other than uh, engineering, there's really not too much of the, of the lower hull that you see on the inside. So I've been using, uh, going, referring to concept art from different areas of other ships to try to maybe get some inspiration. I've been trying to look at the blueprints of the Enterprise D to try to get something that I can pull into it that this way. So this way, when you look at it, if you're somebody like me, have actually have done the research, when we start going room to room, it feels like the Enterprise D. Now you can see here, I'm, I'm basically, uh, what we're going to be doing here, just like we did here on this corner, we're going to be looking for these points right here. And this is what I mean by the distortion. We start to look for this stuff, like right on this row right here, that point that's sticking out. I don't like that. It looks very funky. So an easy fix that we can do to get rid of that is just by cutting that out. And we did that on the top row, actually, too. So we're doing that the same thing down here. We're in pretty good shape. We've got the last five minutes of today's episode to go. I've got two more sides to cut out. You see we found that point. We're going to get rid of that and replace it with a half slab on the top side. we got one more to do. And I don't know why that bothers me, but it just it totally bothers me. And even then what we have there, um, I'm not going to lie, we might come back at some point. And even like right here, I feel like this area right here sticks out a little bit. I might cut that in a little bit and have to do that as we go up row to row because as we go up, it looks a little funky, you know? So don't worry. That's going to be stuff that we're going to get into, but I'm not too, too concerned with it right now. At the moment, I'm just really concerned with the overall shape of it.
So I'm doing this kind of fast. I want to rewind just a little bit so I can get you guys up to speed here. I want to see if I can actually pinpoint that. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to be doing is just what I called out before. We're going one down with the cut in that row that we stopped on. We're going to be filling all that in right up until that next oval row that we added. So now that's when you're going to do it. So you're probably going to have to pause today's episode. A lot of stuff to do today. Probably didn't think that we'd be doing this much, but we are. So once you're done filling all this in on this row, going up until we get to that next oval row that we added, we're going to be coming back here on this line. We're going to be deleting a row, going with the cut line. Now, one rule of thumb as you're deleting if you hit any um, blocks that are um, where there's nothing underneath it, put it back, just like I did on the left side. Because right now, where we're uh, replacing these uh, for sea lanterns, there's half slabs underneath these blocks. And the reason I'm doing it this way, now you can see, because it's going to light up this area. This is one of the slick ways we're going to be able to light the underside of the uh see yeah we need to fill that in that's not going to work easy thing to do put a sea lantern there there we go let's demonstrate on that side and that's all you have to do we're just going with the cut line we're just going to do this going all the way around but this will be a nice cool way to hide our sea lanterns but also have a ton of lighting and we're going to be doing this to multiple layers on the lower side of the of the saucer section so this way when we come down here um, not only when you're looking at this, well, primarily when you're looking at the ship from the outside, you're going to be able to really see it and it's not going to be so dark because once we close this thing in all the way, it's virtually going to be pitch black. So we need to have a light source and I'm not overly fond of having the candles if I don't need them. So, um, if I could, I would do this little cheat that I'm doing now for the entire build if I could, but uh, I still, I wanted to show it because I think that this was pretty cool to, to be able to do something like this. And it's something that I haven't done on too many of my ships. Um, but you're going to see more of it than you might think on the, on the Enterprise D specifically. But it's going to be mostly in this area of the ship, the lower side of the saucer section. This is going to actually, I believe, this is going to be the last thing that we're going to do today. And then we'll be wrapping up episode 43. Still can't believe we're already up to episode 43, but we still got a ton to do. I'm pretty much almost convinced at this point that I'm going to top um, the episode count that we had at this point. The longest tutorial series that I have going was the Disco Air Enterprise. I think we ended it at either 82 or 87. I don't remember, but I'm fairly certain at this point that we're going to surpass that um, because I've got a lot of screen captures that I've recorded in the in the hundreds at this point and uh, a lot of them they aren't as long as you're thinking a lot of them are only a couple of minutes here and there some of them are only maybe a minute <clears throat> but this is still it's going to be going out a while because this is just be a ton of room that we have to fill in and uh, it's just going to take a little bit of time to do it but I think it'll be a lot of fun to do it and I'm actually really looking forward to showing you guys a lot of the stuff that I've done on the inside of the ship because um, it's just going to be really cool. And I've been talking about it a little bit in the past that uh, a lot of the stuff that we're going to be doing on the uh, Enterprise D on the interior, I've never done any of my other ships. Uh, one of the things I have talked about, and I'll talk about it again, is uh, like in the saucer section, we're going to ha actually have multiple levels. Um, officially, there's two levels of corridors but the way that i'm starting to work in the interior i'm looking around and i think that's more than likely going to end up more like um maybe not necessarily uh well two levels of corridors but they'll probably be more like four levels in the saucer section five if you count the main shuttle bay and um the bridge so the, the, this thing's going to be fairly big, and it's going to be a ton of room that we're going to have to fill in, which is going to be a challenge. So again, you know, 
there's stuff that you want to see me add, drop a comment below. Definitely love to hear from you. Um, but yeah, see, that's uh, that's looking pretty good. Now when we go underneath, we'll actually have a nice light source and we can see everything once we close it in because you can't notice it now because it's not, we still have an opening. But I'm telling you, once we close that in, it's going to be pitch black underneath here. So we need that light source. And we're going to have to do it a couple more times as we go upwards. Just so this whole, all this detailing that we've did that or that we've done so far can uh, be seen. But anyway, I think that's going to wrap us up today. I just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode. And if you did enjoy this content, please help me out. Hit that like and subscribe button and help me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And uh, new subscribers, don't forget to hit notifications on to get notified when those new videos drop. And speaking of new videos, you can always catch my new Minecraft videos dropping Tuesdays through Thursdays, typically around 7 p.m. Eastern. If there's uh, any questions they had regarding today's episode or any builds that you want to see me do or uh, anything you want to see me add on the Enterprise D, be sure to drop a comment below. But uh, as always, I hope everybody has a happy and safe week, and I'll catch you on the next episode.